All right, so if there's one thing that hundreds of thousands of people make the mistake of doing all the time is they skip the warm-up and they go right into working out without properly loosening up their body and preparing their body for the stress that they're about to put on it. So, uh, you know, how many times have you ever just, you know, grabbed your gi, changed really fast, did a couple stretches and start rolling and then end up getting hurt, all right? So I'm really happy to have my coach Luke go through with you a perfect warm-up series that you can do whether you're getting ready to, to train, to hit the gym, or you know, on a competition day, you need to get yourself nice and loose, ready to go for your matches. You know, this is going to be a huge tool for you guys to have um, in your training. And uh, I'm really happy to have my coach, Luke Tyree, go through with you guys the warm-up series that I'm using all the time. Um, so, Luke, take it away. All right. So the number one thing in, uh, in the warming up is, is our breathing. You want to warm the body up properly. We're going to do that a lot through the way we breathe. So we're going to breathe in through our nose and out through our nose on each one of these repetitions and everything we're doing here. So what I'm going to start with, hands behind, chest is up high, and we're just going to start pulling the toes back and pushing the heel towards the wall. As you get going, you can get doing about five to ten repetitions a leg, and I can even start to kind of kick it out at an angle. And from there, I like to lean forward, stretch the chest up, lengthen the spine. You can start kind of rocking back and forth here. And this is really where you want to kind of practice your breathing, breathing in. Exhale, I can go ahead and roll back and we'll start to reach. And again, we're just driving our heel up and pulling our toes back. This is surprisingly a very kind of a tough little movement. You'll find that when you roll over on your side, you're going to actually have to use your core to get back to the other side here. So guys who like to play on their back and like to play a guard game, these are, uh, these are some very easy joint mobility and kind of stretching drills that will uh, warm you up and really help improve your game. So the next thing, just going to lay flat here, arms out to the side and start with some leg kicks. And then we'll go right into some shoulder stability drills. So the most important thing is that both of my shoulder blades stay onto the mat here. My feet are up at 90 degrees and I just rotate them as far as I can while keeping those shoulder blades pinched down onto the mat. And again, you're breathing with this. So I'm exhaling as I'm going down. Inhaling back to center, exhaling, and inhaling back to center. Next, we'll go to the hands and knees here. The bird dog. So we're going to go opposite arm to opposite leg. Hold for a second and then take elbow to knee. Hold there and continue that for about five to ten repetitions a side. Now, staying on the knees here, what I like to do is bring the knees together and just start a regular rock. You're keeping the knees both on the floor and you're just kind of rocking back and forth, pushing the hip bone out and kind of opening up some of those the hip capsules. That's one of my favorite ones right there. Loosen up those hips. Yeah, that's one thing that we noticed in Raphael is he played... When he was very tight in his guard game, he developed a lot of tension on the outside of his hips. So doing a lot of these side-to-side -side hip rocks, big hip circles, really opening up the hips here. Now, we're going to start getting into some that you can do actually moving in distance if you're going somewhere. We usually go about 10 to 15 yards on each one of these. The first variation 
is a regular push up. You're going to do a push up, a mountain climber. So you're bringing your foot to the outside, and my back leg, I'm driving the heel towards the wall. So come back, both sides, and then I'm just going to do an inchworm to walk up and walk myself back out and repeat that process. The second variation of those is again a push-up. We're going to a mountain climber, mountain climber, groiner, and then we're just going to sit through. I like to kind of sit in these positions and really work the shoulder, keep the shoulder packed, but you can also kind of move around and work the shoulder stability and open up the shoulder girdle a little bit. So again, I'll just go back and forth here. And if they don't have a lot of distance, they yeah. can just do about three to five reps in. in Again, just like I did, yeah, you can stay in place and kind of do that. The main thing with this is about finding movement in your body. You want to try to think about the game you like to play, think about the positions you get in on the mat, and then how can we create movement while getting warm at the same time. So, another couple of mobility exercises that we use a lot is getting into the frog stretch position, opening up the hips here, just relaxing. I start to pull the shoulders back, and then we go into the, some twists. Come right back up to the hands and knees. And you can see this stuff gets you nice and warm. I'm sweating here. So we're going to get into a push-up position. Left leg's coming up again. I'm going to twist, hold this for a second here. Back down. Switch to the other side. Then, we'll go back to the mat here and go into some regular hip bridges. You kind of hold at the top of each one of these. You can start to kind of come over the shoulder on each side. You're really squeezing your, your butt cheeks. Really together. squeezing the glutes, driving the hips through. And now, from this position, if you spend a lot of time grabbing and really holding on to somebody's gi, you're going to develop a lot of tension in the shoulders. So a great joint mobility exercise is to get up into a hip bridge and start to crawl backwards and forwards on your shoulders. You can do this laying flat as well too. Then, we'll go to a standing position now, into the Hindu squat, so our feet are about hip width apart. We're going to exhale as we go down, inhale as we come up. Now, I'm going to start to work just some folds here, so as I'm standing tall, I'm going to start to exhale as I fold all the way down. Inhale and slowly come back up. For those people that are really tight, 
uh, Coach Luke, how, how far would you recommend them to try to go down? On all of these drills, go to where you're comfortable. You know, go follow your breathing, link movement up with your breathing, and just go to your own comfort level. There's going to be days where you feel, there's going to be days where you feel great and you're going further than normal. There's going to be days where you're beat up and you're sore and you're tired. You're not going to go that far. And so don't worry about really the distance. Worry about the quality of each movement and each stretch and worry about linking the breath with movement. So a lot of this, um, you know, we've been doing for every day pretty much now. And some of the other things is even that Shanji did in a seminar here with us at the academy that I've been using is some rolls here. So one of the rolls that you can do is just start sitting nice and tall, forward lean, leaning with your chest, roll back over a shoulder, coming up onto the leg that I rolled over with, get a nice stretch here, you can imagine I'm back to this position, and then just sitting back into a single leg. Rolling over the other shoulder, right back up, and going back down into a pistol squat. So these exercises, all they are is going through the body's natural movement, linking it with breath, and trying to create something that's very similar to the game that you like to play. Awesome. So guys, there you have it, some awesome exercises for you to do before you hit the mat, before you train, before you compete. Uh, you know, it's been a huge tool for me to be able to get my body just right uh, before I need to, you know, exert a lot of energy. So, you know, take your notes on this and, uh, and you know, start bringing this into your, tra in your training. I guarantee your body's going to love you for it.